Sometimes I like to play the role of Captain Obvious, and the obvious statement is, we're in front of a Akuma machine. Now, horizontal machining, as we already know, helps with chip flush, coolant flush, helps the chip flush, which often leads to longer tool life, better finish, and then with the tombstone situation, in most cases, gives you some sort of fully automated, automated through the night, depending on the part process and how long it goes. However, in a lot of situations, just having the two isn't enough to run through the night or through the weekend and this is when full pallet chain systems come into play now we're lucky enough today to have a full fast tim system and we get to talk with one of the experts my friend bob over here on the fast tim systems to say okay well we have the two tombstones when and how and why would we upgrade to this fast tim systems to add more tombstones to whatever currently exists on that Kakuma machine when we're talking about horizontal machining. So, Bob, here we are. It's a vertical system. Looks like there's a lot of options going on here. Let's talk about the importance of automation and when we would utilize this system. Yeah, thanks, uh, Tony, for the opportunity. But certainly, what we're doing here is we're trying to do the right thing at the right time all the time. So at the end of the day, you have a beautiful machine tool over there with a spindle utilization in maybe the 30 to 40 percent range. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is really double that here. So by taking the operator and putting him in the right place at the right time, not having to hunt around for tools or hunt around for fixtures or hunt around for parts, right? Everything is here. We store our fixtures here and now we give that machine the capability of what it's really supposed to be doing running in the 80% spindle utilization. So now we have a complete office for our operator. He has everything he needs to make that machine as productive as possible. You know, it's funny, I had no idea exactly what you were gonna say. While I was <laughs> over there, that's almost exactly what I mentioned though, was the fact that some of these parts can be two, three minutes and maybe we're running on four sides of a tombstone or whatever it might be, but for full, true automation, as you mentioned, adding something like this, not looking for tools, not looking for setups, you're ready to go. But yep. something else I like about this that you didn't mention but I'd like to elaborate on is the fact that it's built up. How many pallet change systems, how many pallet changers do we have here but yet we're utilizing real estate space because we know how valuable it is by building toward the sky instead of all around the machine. Exactly. So this system is actually capable of 24 pallets. Whew. So four levels, all of our levels are adjustable, so if you have large pallets, small pallets, any combination, just like your refrigerator at home, right? You, you need that space for that six pack of beer, you know, <laughs> or, or maybe that jug of moonshine, right? So you change your, uh, your levels accordingly uh, to your loads. So that's all the mechanical things that are associated with this machine. Uh, but the reality is it's our software, our scheduling capability, our ability to connect to an ERP system, our ability to connect to uh, the tool library on the machine uh, to understand if the machine is capable of running apart. So we look at that, we make the determination whether we could take a, 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 a pallet out of the system and put it in the machine. If the machine's ready, we will do so. If it's not, we won't, and we'll send the next ready pallet. So this way, when you come back from uh, the, the nighttime, and you, you come back to a full pallet pool full of finished parts instead of one sitting in the machine that was waiting for a tool that may not have been there. That is clever and that is kind of what sets you guys apart, right? When we think of a pallet pool yes. and automation, and I'm going to clarify something in a minute and I'll ask you, and I started this whole thing off with being Captain Obvious sometimes, and the next <laughs> question might be a, a Captain Obvious statement, but you're right, it is the way that you can do scheduling and prepare and make sure that everything is running exactly as it needs to be run. So when you come in, especially partnering with Akuma where we started, yep. you know you're working with a precision machine as well, so when you pull it off the machine, you know they're good parts and you know they've been scheduled yep. correctly. But my next thing that I wanted to lead into with the Captain Obvious statement was, we can run 24 different jobs or 24 of the same job yes. because automation, we're still trying to get through to the audience. It's not always about having to have a thousand of a part or 10,000 of a part. We can have one part yep. or two parts. So it is for the high mix, low volume as well, right? Absolutely. And, that, and that's a, a common fallacy that people, they, they look at automation like this and think, well, I need to make a thousand widgets uh, in order to make this profitable. And that's not the case. This is high mix, 
low volume. But think about it, right? You've got that one part that you have to make every month and you have an operator searching around for the fixtures, searching around for the tooling, searching around for everything. Well, that fixturing could be sitting in here ready to go mm -hmm. and your operator now is focused on making that machine profitable instead of looking around for the things that he needs. You know, Bob, you actually brought me to another point oh, and I think the answer is gonna be yes, but I wanna double check for the audience. It might be a question that they have as well is, let's say a hot job comes in. It's that one per month and let's say we thought it was going to be two weeks from now, but it came in today. Are we able to stop what we're doing or maybe finish the one job we're working on and immediately go to that hot job as well? Absolutely. So a simple button that we prioritize that job that goes to the top of the list. We can also take those jobs, uh, those easy jobs that you know that will, will run with a minimal amount of attention and defer them for the night shift when there's nobody around. So we have ultimate flexibility of the schedule. Uh, or we could just let the, the autopilot within our MMS system make those decisions for us. It's, it's your choice. It's your choice. I think that's how we end this, is it is your choice and automation is so necessary. And I started again this thing off with bringing you to Bob. I didn't lie. We have the experts with us today. Bob, thank you so much for sharing My this pleasure. technology with us. Yep.